The hook discussion is one of the most common coffee house discussions that you hear men and women debate on. What, what hook do you use? What hook do you flip? To me, I kind of have a simple, practical way of going about it, I think. I just really pair my hook with the plastic, the density of the plastic, how big a bite I want on it, styles of baits. I use the EWG a lot when I'm flipping. And I use like a straight shank flipping hook a lot, and then I use a medium wire straight shank hook. These are the three hooks I'm gonna use most of the time. And simply by pairing it with the right plastic, I feel like I get the best hook set and the best percentage of landing fish. This is a Texas rig Zoom Z Crawl. And you'll notice I put the EWG style hook in there and it's covering from top to bottom. It's got a real nice bite on it. If the fish gets on that, I've got him. The plastic's not gonna be in the way. This is a little thicker piece of plastic. So with the extra wide gap hook, it's right where I want it. And just say I was gonna go, I'm going real shallow and I'm gonna flip something a little lighter, a little smaller. I'm gonna flip 12 pound line and pitch around some isolated cover. Take a, it's a three, I can take a four alt right here. Just a straight shank worm. It's got a really nice keeper on it. The VMC hooks all have resin on the eye, so the hook can't be damaged. You can't get your line down there and pull back through. It can't. There's no way the hook can damage the line, and the line can't pop out. So if that was straight shank, it's going to just flip isolated cover with say a 16, 14, 16 pound line. I'd go with a straight shank on this setup here because it's really compact. It doesn't take away from the action of the bait. So I'm really just matching the size of the hook to the plastics I'm rigging up. And you just don't want the, your hook to be so big that it kills the action of your bait. Uh, it really can affect the action. And if you'll see with a 3 out EWG in there, it's really nice and small. Fish gets on there, it's still got plenty of strength. You got the durability, the nice strength of the hook. And you get pretty much what you want on the hookup. Not a lot of missing and that's the key to the game. So to me, I keep it pretty simple. It's straight flipping hooks and extra wide gaps. Simply match your hook to the size of your plastic. If you're throwing a 10 inch worm, yeah, throw a five off. If you're throwing a two and a half inch worm, throw a three off. Just move the hook up and down size to get the right size on the plastic.